Hey guys, Supervisory Team here. In this video, I would like to show you our latest integration, which is MMOCR Toolbox for Text Detection and Recognition Task. Our integration uses DBNet model for text detection and ABINet model for text recognition respectfully. In this video, I would like to show you how to apply a memo CR to images project and how to work with it. So let's get started. All right, so here is my data, which is only four images, uh, which are from different industries, such as medical industries, just some checks and some pictures from the street. So how do we apply MMOCR to images project or data set? First of all, we need to go to the context menu of a project or a data set and go to run app. And here we can click show all apps. Here let's type MMOCR. All right, so here is the MMOCR inference application. Let's click on it. Here, let's go into the advanced settings and I want to change the computer that this application would run on. If you are interested in connecting your own computer or agent to Supervisely, I will leave a link in the description to the videos where I show this process both for Mac OS and for Windows operating system users. So let's run this application. So as we see in the output section, a new project with OCR tags has been generated. Let's see how the application performed. As we can see, the text detection model has generated a rectangle over each of the words that it detected. And the text recognition model generated a tag over each rectangle that contains the model's recognized text. So as we see here, it says anymore, and we can hover onto the rectangle and see that it says anymore in the tag. That means that model's estimation is correct. Let's see another images. Also, if we would like to view all the tags all the time on our pictures, we can click on this settings uh, circle. And here we have show text setting. Right now it says on hover, but I can set it to always. And as you can see, all of the tags are displayed at once, but I will leave it on hover. For the most part, the application did a really good job. But here and there we can see occasional artifacts, like on this picture, it for some reason did not uh, detect this text. And some of the text that uh, the model tried to recognize is not correct either. So how do we address that? First of all, we can fix all these issues inside the labeling interface itself. So let's say that I want to delete this bounding box. We need to grab a selection tool, click on this rectangle, and here in the right section, in the object section, I can simply delete it. Also, I can select this rectangle and simply stretch it over the board to make it fit. And lastly, in the object properties, I can edit the value of a tag. So let's do that. But what if you have hundreds of objects on a single image. We have a standalone application that addresses this case as well. Let me show you how to use it. Let's go to the home button and let's open the context menu of a resulting project. Run app, show all apps. Here we can type object text editor. Here it is. Let's run it. All right, so first things first, we need to select classes that we want to work with. I only have one class, which is how to generate it by the application to store our inference results in. So let's select that. 
Next, we can select object, which means that we can go back and forth between images in our data set and between all of the objects on this image. And this makes it so it's really easy to check all the objects and its tags. And we can also edit those tags in place. This application also has a feature to uh, apply some templates for to our tags, but I don't need that feature right now. So let's find an incorrect tag and fix it. So as we can see here, uh, the tag is incorrect. Let's just fix it. Now I have an option to either save the tags or save uh, the tags and go to the next object. But I'm not planning to edit the objects further. So I'll just click save tags. So as we just saw, MMOCR is a great toolkit that allows for a complete solution for text detection and recognition task. Lastly, I would like to say that if you have a similar task that needs to be solved, I encourage you to upload your data to Supervisely and try out for yourself. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.